Dear students, continuing with our lecture series on named reactions, uh, this is our 27th lecture and today we will discuss uh, the chemistry of uh, Bayless-Hillman reaction. The Bayless-Hillman reaction is basically a hydroalkylation of activated alkenes where uh, one of the electron withdrawing group is attached to the alkene and in the presence of uh, catalytic amount of a base uh, like tertiary amine uh, they undergo uh, formation of a new carbon carbon bond uh, on reaction with the other substituent so basically if uh, say we are having uh, a ketone and we react this with uh, uh, an activated alkene uh, like uh, methyl uh, vinyl ketone or acrylonitriles or vinyl sulfones all uh, type of uh, alkenes where we are having an electron withdrawing group uh, for example in this case uh, if we are having uh, uh, this type of uh, methyl acrylate on reaction with ketone in presence of tertiamine as a base uh, will give us these types of uh, products with uh, with the formation of a new carbon carbon bond so basically uh, these alkenes uh, they will undergo uh, hydroalkylation uh, uh, in the presence of uh, these uh, uh, these types of uh, carbonyl compounds and uh, we will get alpha hydroxy alkenes as the product the uh, mechanism of this reaction is that in the first step uh, the base uh, that is uh, tertiary amine uh, which is being used as catalyst uh, will uh, attack uh, this carbon of uh, the alkene which is attached to an electron withdrawing group which will undergo enolization of this carbon uh, oxygen bond uh, which is uh, in combination with the carbon carbon double bond so because of this enolization uh, these type of uh, enolate will be formed and uh, this enolate will act as a nucleophile and this will attack the uh, electrophilic carbon of the carbon oxygen double bond and we will get these types of species uh, wherein uh, this uh, negative charge on oxygen will take up proton uh, from the next carbon present that is uh, alpha carbon uh, which is acidic due to the presence of this electron vitrine and we will get uh, these types of uh, alpha hydroxy compounds uh, with the formation of a new carbon carbon bond between this alkene and the carbonyl. So this is how uh, the alkenes with electron withdrawing group they will be converted into hydroxy uh, alkenes with uh, this electron withdrawing. Then there are uh, uh, many examples of uh, this uh, Bailey's Hillman reaction, and in uh, recent uh, years uh, many modified uh, versions of uh, this. Bailey-Hillman reactions have been reported by different authors. For example, uh, alpha, beta, unsaturated ketones on reaction with allylic acetates. So these types of substrates, allylic acetates, uh, they react with uh, alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone, where uh, this part of the ketone will act as an alkene and uh, hydro. Uh, hydroalkylation of this alkene with uh, this allylic acetate will take place and here uh, instead of tertiamine uh, the modified catalyst uh, like uh, triphenyl phosphine uh, palladium uh, tetra uh, will be used as uh, catalyst in presence of uh, tributyl uh, phosphine as uh, another catalyst so a combination of catalyst and co-catalyst uh, they will lead to the formation of uh, Bailey-Silman products. 
then uh, another example uh, which is uh, from a recent uh, research paper in uh, 2018 is where uh, cyclopentene bonds they react with aryl aldehydes uh, and they undergo morita balis hillman reaction and here uh, pyrrolidine and depco uh, die as a bicyclo 222 octane they act as a catalyst for this uh, balis hillman reaction and a new formation of carbon carbon bond will take place at this place with the hydroxylation of this aryl then few more uh, examples of uh, balis hillman uh, parachlorobenzaldehyde on reaction with methyl acrylate in presence of uh, diaza bicyclo 222 octane as a catalyst uh, this is a uh, tertiamine so this will lead to the uh, formation of a new carbon carbon bond between this carbon and this carbon of the alkene this carbon of the carbonyl compound and alpha hydroxy alkenes they will be formed as the product similarly th uh, these types of activated uh, aldehydes uh, they again reacts with ethyl uh, acrylate in presence of depco and we will get the corresponding balis hillman reaction and here when we use uh, uh, anisho selective aldehydes we will get an issue uh, selective products uh, of bailey silman so we can say asymmetric uh, bailey silman reaction will take place then uh, bailey silman is also used for the synthesis of biologically active compounds like uh, selenosporamide a uh, which is uh, used as a precursor for some drugs uh, this uh, can be synthesized uh, Uh, by starting from substrates uh, which can undergo bailis hillman reaction in presence of these tertiary amines uh, to give us uh, this gives us two products one is uh, this one major product and this one is the minor product so this uh, again is formed where uh, this part of the alpha beta unsaturated ketone Uh, this will act as the alkene of the bailey silman and this will act as the uh, carbonyl uh, part of the bailey silman so we can say that intramolecular uh, reaction will take place in this case and uh, because of the the anisho selective nature uh, of the substrate we can get either this anisomer or this anisomer as the product and it has been found that this is the major product formed during this reaction and uh, through different uh, steps further reaction on this uh, product uh, these can lead to the formation of this type of selenosporamide a which is a biologically active natural then uh, two more examples uh, in biosynthesis of natural product uh, using uh, bailey silman reaction is uh, uh, when we use uh, alpha uh, hydroxy aryl aldehydes uh, on reaction with these types of alpha beta saturated ketones where this part will act as alkene and this part will act as carbonyl compound and in the presence of imidazole as the base this will undergo uh, morita balis hillman reaction uh, and condensation will lead to the formation of this product and with further uh, steps this can be uh, converted into diversone which is a biologically active uh, natural product then similarly these types of alpha beta unsaturated ketones uh, in the presence of uh, these uh, catalyst as uh, base uh, we can uh, use these uh, for uh, intramolecular reaction first this uh, will react with trimethyl silyl iodide uh, to give us uh, these types of n to silyl uh, intermediates and uh, these n to sil intermediates where uh, this oxygen uh, will uh, form a 
uh, oxy trimethyl uh, silane and this then uh, can be converted into uh, this type of uh, anthocyl uh, ketone as the product uh, through uh, belly silman reaction and this anthocyl uh, ketone can be converted through different reactions into and toxin A, uh, which is again a natural product, which can be biosynthesized uh, through beta signal reaction. Then, uh, recently, uh, even ionic liquids uh, they have also been used as catalyst uh, for uh, uh, these types of MBH uh, reactions, uh, Morita Bailey Selman reaction. Here, heterocyclic uh, uh, aldehydes. Uh, they uh, react with uh, alkenes having electron with triangle, uh, for example, methyl acrylate on reaction with uh, pyridyl aldehyde uh, can give us uh, Bailey Silman uh, product uh, when we use uh, this uh, amidazole based uh, uh, ionic liquid, uh, which is uh, uh, very effective for. Uh, uh, this Bailey Silman reaction and 90% uh, yield of the product has been formed where we use either uh, pyridine based aldehydes or purine based aldehydes as the substrates uh, uh, when they are reacted with uh, methyl acrylates uh, we will get the corresponding alpha hydroxy alkenes as the product and uh, these types of uh, ionic liquids uh, which are having uh, quinolicidine uh, and the amidazole ring present in those uh, ionic liquids. And uh, these ionic liquids they can be used up to six times uh, without any significant loss of catalytic activity. So these ionic liquids they are reusable in nature for uh, converting these uh, aldehydes and alkenes into the MBH products. Then some uh, modifications uh, of uh, uh, MBH reaction has also been reported. For example, uh, uh, the Sila MBH reaction, uh, which is a coupling of alpha uh, silylated vinyl aryl ketones. So uh, if at alpha position we are having trimethyl silane so these types of uh, substrates they are called as uh, alpha silylated vinyl aryl ketones so this is vinyl group this is alpha silylated means uh, at alpha carbon we are having trimethyl silane when these are uh, reacted with uh, tris246 trimethoxyphenyl phosphine as the catalyst in presence of uh, propyl nitrile then uh, this will convert uh, these uh, in the presence of uh, this phosphine uh, into an enolate phosphine enolate will be formed and this phosphine enolate uh, will act as a nucleophile to react with uh, aryl aldehydes and we will get these types of uh, uh, intermediates and these intermediates then uh, will undergo 1,3 Brook rearrangement where this oxygen will get attached to trimethyl silane part and this carbon uh, silane uh, bond will break and this will get attached to this with the elimination of TTMP, MPP that is uh, trace 246 trimethoxyphenyl phosphine which catalyst uh, was used in the first step is removed in this with uh, one three brook rearrangement and we will get uh, siloxymethylene aryl enones as the product so basically alpha silylated uh, uh, vinyl aryl ketones they are converted into uh, siloxymethyl aryl enones so uh, this is uh, a modification of uh, MBH reaction which is called as Sila MBH reaction. Then uh, next modification is uh, Rahut-Courier reaction. Uh, here 
uh, the activated uh, alkene and the Michael uh, acceptor they are present within the same molecule so uh, this is a uh, vinylogus mbh reaction this is a little modification we can say this is an intramolecular uh, reaction uh, and this intramolecular reaction uh, improves the reactivity and selectivity uh, of this mbh reaction for example when alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes so these aldehydes uh, they are reacted in presence of uh, proline as the catalyst uh, using acetic uh, acid as the solvent uh, we will get an enzymatic uh, uh, mbh products uh, through cyclization of uh, this aldehyde will act as carbonyl compound and this part will act as alkene and we this part will act as alkene and cyclization will take place at these places and we will get these types of nature rich uh, products through cyclic then uh, third type of modification is uh, tandem reaction or uh, multi component one uh, pot reactions so we have seen that uh, multi component reactions uh, gave us uh, different types of biologically active products so for example when uh, Aryl aldehydes, uh, they are uh, reacted with diphenyl uh, phosphenamide uh, in presence of methyl vinyl ketone uh, using uh, TiCl4 titanium tetrachloride uh, as catalyst in presence of triphenyl phosphine and triethylamine in dichloromethane as solvent. Then uh, alpha amination of uh, the alkene will take place and we will get as a mbh addicts like this so this is a modification of normal mbh uh, adduct formation so here we will get as a mbh adducts so as a means nitrogen instead of oxygen we are having here nitrogen uh, similarly uh, Tandem cyclization uh, is also possible in carbon-carbon uh, triple bonded compounds uh, which will undergo uh, reaction uh, with the carbon-nitrogen uh, double bonded compounds uh, to give us MBH uh, electrophilic products. And here uh, the uh, proline uh, derivatives uh, they will act as catalyst in presence of toluene as the solvent. So we will get again uh, as a MBH products they will be formed through reaction through cyclization uh, of uh, this part of with carbon carbon triple bond. So these are the references which have been used for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.